Frame Decisions here, and today I'm coming to you with a new case. Many of us don't understand the context of our right to be presumed innocent and forcing our accusers to actually bring forth the evidence. Now, in Taylor v. Kentucky, 436 U.S. 478, it's a 1978 case, which held on the facts, a trial court refused to give petitioners requested instruction on the presumption of innocence resulted in a violation of his right to a fair trial as guaranteed by the due process clause of the 14th Amendment. Now, most of us didn't understand the context of the original setting of the right to be presumed innocent prior to trial. But even during trial, you can go and give jury instructions. Why? Because jurors cannot be asked to assume facts which are not proven. This is the reason why you have the right to remain innocent until proven guilty. This is set up through due process. This is also set up with a foundational set of a detailed discovery, which, again, most public pretenders or defense attorneys, you know, so be it, that are under $50,000, do not do. Because, again, they're being fed by the state. So your right to be presumed innocent begins at the time of the accusation all the way to the verdict. So keep that in mind. Now, remember, any right that's exercised must be written. So let's keep that in mind. Let's keep going. Let's keep growing. Hit that thanks button. And more I guess more videos are going to be dropping, and I'm also going to be doing things in the master class. So be on the lookout for it. And if you haven't joined, go ahead and shoot that hundred dollars because it will be going up after this month. So, Spring out.